Hello everybody, this is Dr. Hefe, internet psychologist, and today I'm playing FTL, Faster Than Light. Thought I'd take a break from playing Borderlands 2 and try this game out. Although, I've been playing it a lot, so... Thought, might as well show you guys some of this gameplay. I'm gonna play today as the Federation Cruiser. Let's rename it. Long and hard, yep. Because uh, that's what this game is. It's long, it's a pretty difficult game. And also this ship has quite a phallic shape to it. So let's rename our crew. Here we'll get the Hefe up in here. And this game is... It's more of a... Well, you fly through space on your way through eight sectors to crush the Rebel Alliance. So you're basically working for Darth Vader. Nah, just kidding. But, um... Yeah, you kind of fly through space, fighting enemies, upgrading your ship. I don't know what kind of call it. It's like a strategy RPG. I see a lot of people saying that it's a rogue successor, so... Pretty fun game. I'll try and go through it. Pretty long game, actually, so I'll try and keep this as quickly as possible. So this is your opening screen kind of tells you the backstory. The data you carry is vital, the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. We get to the exit before the pursuing web rebel fleet can catch up. So here's some tips. Yep. It's tempting to rush through the sector exits, but exploring is the only way to upgrade your ship. Try and get as much out of each sector as possible, and I believe that is completely and totally true. You want to make sure that you get as much as possible out of each sector. So let's put this guy up in weapons. Keep our rock... Actually, we'll put our rock dude here. Put the doctor up in engines. So you want to place each of your guys in each of these areas. They'll uh, work on each system to upgrade it. Makes each one of them work a little bit faster. So I, and when I play, I actually like to stay in the nebulas. It keeps the rebel fleet from finding you so you have more time to explore. So here we see an automated ship near a small rebel space station. So let's fight this ship and get what's in the station. Let's go. Let's do it. So we'll turn on our burst laser. I'm going to turn on auto fire just so I can have more hands free. So the awesome thing about the... Oh my goodness, they're already blowing me up. The awesome thing about the Federation cruiser is that you have a artillery beam so once this white bar fully charges all the way up, you get to fire a beam that goes through all shields and does a lot of damage to the enemy ship. So that's going to be something that we're going to want to upgrade as soon as possible. So let's see what we can find at the station. All right, we found some scrap and a system repair drone. So if you go to your equipment, you can see your weapons and your drones. We haven't yet installed a drone control system, so we're not going to be able to use this guy yet. Here you can see our crew. We can have up to eight people in our crew and our upgrade. So first thing I always like to do is upgrade the power. That way I can power up our engine room, which increases our evade chance. So you see here, it goes down to 15, goes all the way down to zero with no power. So let's keep going through this. Let's keep going through the nebula. Let's see what we can find out in here. Intruders on the ship. Uh oh. Everybody. It's weapons bay. Goodness. You guys asses are getting kicked. It's the med bay, badass. You must heal yourself. Oh my goodness, my guys' ass are getting kicked over here. So yeah, your whole crew is pretty weak in the beginning. You can check out what their skills are up here. They already blew up our weapons bay? Oh no. Uh oh. I'm gonna pause, so I can just throw the Viking in there. I'm gonna try and pause as little as possible, just to keep this game going, because it does take a long time, but when enemy borders are on the ship, it gets kind of difficult to keep everything straight. Come on, let's kill these enemies. There we go. Alright. And when you're doing melee attacks, the best kind of guys for that are the Mantis Men. Next by the Rock Dudes who have extra health. The weakest are these Engineer guys. 
Um, yeah. And then you have the humans who are pretty average at all those tasks. And it's always important to make sure you repair all systems before jumping to the next system. Just so that your ship is in tip-top shape. Don't want to be taken unawares by any enemies. Also want to make sure all your men are all healed up and ready for battle. So this is going to be the basic thing that I do after every battle. Make sure that all my ship's systems are fully repaired and my people are at full health. So I'm going to try and edit that out as much as possible throughout the video. So if you see some cuts, that's what's going on. Now we're going to continue going through the galaxy. Hmm. Some pirates, huh? Well, for a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. No, you're going to pay me the fee of your life. Let's see, what are we going to do here? I think we'll attack weapons first. Take those down. There we go. Weapons are completely down. Now it's him to target the shields. Now what I like to do is go after the end is this right here? Piloting room. So once you take off their pilots, they won't be able to evade your attacks anymore. Let's see. Fuel, drone parts, and some scrap? No. No surrender. We shall destroy them. For their insolence of demanding... Demanding a fee to pass through space. Alright, so we got some more fuel, missiles, and some scrap. So scrap is what you use. This is your scrap bar up here. That's what you're going to use to upgrade your ship. Um, don't think we can get really any upgrades right now, so let's save that scrap. And continue on our way through this... What is this, sector? Looks like a galaxy right here. We're going to a bunch of different stars. Alright, Mantis ship. Let's attack these guys. So with the Federation cruiser, since you only have one main weapon to start off with, I like to take off their weapons offline first. Oh no. Oxygen's down. Let's send our engineer to go repair that. And our rock dude to repair the med bay. We'll attack shields this time. The engineer guys are twice as fast at repairing than any other crew member. So they're one of the top guys that you're going to want to send in to repair damaged systems. So here we are repairing the damaged systems yet again. I'm getting ready to jump to the next sector. Let's go check out this part of the nebula. So when you're in the nebula, let's see, fuel 9... Three missiles for nine fuel. Sure, that's a pretty good deal. When you're in the nebula, you can see that your sensors are offline. That means you're not going to be able to see anything inside of your ship. Kind of annoying thing, but it's livable. You can get used to it. So let's see. Rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. The weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Let's defend the outpost. These rebels shall die this day. Let's just take these weapons offline. Do not want to deal with this little laser guy wrecking havoc on our ship. So as you can see, the little laser guy can't actually hit our ship as long as we have our shield up. He's using a beam weapon, which the shield reduces its efficiency. So as long as our shields are up, he can't do any damage to us. So I'm gonna actually attack this. This little spot right here, that's the drone control. So now I took their drone offline. A little beam attack won't be able to mess with us. Ah, so as we see, our artillery is almost fully charged. So we're going to see a big old beam cut right across the enemy ship. Hopefully do a lot of damage. Boom! You're done. You're dead. Alright. So we... Killed them, took their scrap, and now the outpost says, Ah, pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeat the Federation. They didn't defeat me this time, so they're all dead, and we get some 
prize money from the outpost. Continue jumping through the system. So, so far we haven't found any stores or distress signals. So, at stores, obviously you can buy more upgrades. Let's see, what can I sell? Don't really have anything to sell here. Black market, so I can sell missiles for scrap, but I don't have any missiles to sell. And the distress signals have special events that you can go to uh, in order to either get new loot, kind of intervene. In oh, one, f one fuel for five missiles. Oh, this is a good deal. I'm getting some good trades here in this first sector. And as you continue on your journey, you're going to find that the sectors get more and more difficult. Where do I want to go here? I think I'll go south. Nah, let's go this way. So I want to explore as much of this sector as possible before the rebels can catch up to me. Let's see. Let's explore the asteroid field. Why not? Let's see what we can find. Aha, we found a droid and some scrap. That's awesome. And... Hmm. Alright, we'll go to this one. Oh no, an asteroid field? This is not going to be good. And a pirate ship is waiting here, so let's take down their weapons first. Because without any shields, we're just going to be a sitting duck for their weapons. And these asteroids keep running into your shields and... Keep running into the shields and taking them down. So you're going to want to make sure that the enemy's weapons are offline. Now I'm going to take their shields offline, so hopefully these asteroids will start doing some more damage to their ship. Oh, alright, let's see what they're trying to offer me. Four fuel, two drone parts, and some scrap. Sorry, pirates. You're worth more to me dead than alive. And they're dead now. Let's see what kind of loot we can get. Ah, uh, some missiles, drone, and some more scrap. Awesome. So, we can't jump away right now. You have to wait till your engine is fully charged in order to get out of an asteroid field. So, let's go back to our already explored sector. Nothing's going to happen here. Once you explore it, it's pretty much cleared. Nothing new will ever happen over there. Continue on our way. No signs of life detected. All right, well, sometimes that happens. You don't get anything interesting on your jump. All right. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let's install a weapon to help. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you for this weapon, dudes. So let's jump to the next sector. Once we've reached the exit, we can click on the next sector over here. And we get a big map of where we can go. So we have civilian planets, hostile planets, and nebula. But there's no nebula here. So I can either go to Zoltan or Zoltan. Um... Let's go to this Zoltan one, because there's more civilian civilian controlled sectors along this way. Don't have to go to hostile space. Preparations to hold their borders. And whenever you jump into new space, you're not going to have anything to do. So if you're at an exit and the rebel fleet's coming for you or your ship's on fire or something, it's always good to jump to the next sector. Then you'll have a free area to not have to worry about anything. You get back there in the engine room. All right, ah, let's go explore this nebula. I should be upgrading some of my systems soon. Let's see, inside the nebula you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desert. All right, let's look into this eye and see what happens. Trying to keep your ship from breaking up in orbit. The monolith, whatever it is, must sense as much because the next thing you know, you have enough scrap to patch up your damage and more besides. Thank you, monolith. All right. Well, I haven't found a store yet, so I'm going to actually upgrade the systems. So I'm going to upgrade my shields first. And we have to upgrade the power in order to power up these shields. So as you can see, the power down here is our power bars. And we're going to put more power into our shields. And now we have a second blue dot up here, which gives us two shields. Which should help us when we're navigating through asteroid fields and other such dangers. So let's go this way, back towards the left side of the screen, so we can get as 
much of the sector explored before the rebel fleet comes after us. Lights out the windows, but only see clouds and silence. Ooh. How nice. Continue exploring this nebula. But none come. No attacks. Feel naked without functioning sensors. Well, let's continue this way. We're gonna have to go up up to the north side of this sector. Although I guess there's no real north-south in the space. Space is more three-dimensional. Nothing here, save for vast swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. Wow, there has not been much to do in this nebula. Very boring nebula indeed. Let's see what's going on over here. Aha! We've been boarded! Enemies! All men, to engines! Engine man. Try not to die. So these engines usually get their ass kicked so hard because they just can't fight. Go to med bay. F.A. You go to med bay too. NG man. Back into the battle. Oh no, badass! You need to go to med bay. Aha! Victory is almost ours. To battle! There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna heal up all my men. Alright, we're ready to jump to the next sector. Let's continue in this nebula. Hopefully we'll find something that's actually worthwhile, worth looting. And, uh, of course, as soon as I say that, I get nothing again. Nothing but static, apparently. Alright, to the store! Let's see what we can find at the store. If there's any good deals going on. Hmm. So here you can hire some crew to help you out. Buy a drone control or a crew teleporter. I don't really need any of those things. I'm gonna buy some fuel, because you don't want to get stranded out there. And let's fix our current hull up to 25. It's pretty good. So your hull is out of 30. So 25 out of 30 is a pretty good deal. Let's go back into the nebula. Don't need to go to another store, since we have barely any scrap to buy anything with. Ooh. Automated Rebel Scout. Oh no, it's trying to get away. So first, let's try and hit their shields. So they're firing ion weapons at us, and a missile's coming in. Alright, we hit their, uh, their shields. Let's now go for their piloting systems. So without piloting systems, they won't be able to jump away either. See if there's any fires going on. I do not want fires on my ship. Oh no. Just the oxygen. Um oh my goodness. Let's take their shields down one more. And now time to attack the weapon system. I'm taking a lot of damage from these rebels right here, but we should come out ahead. And now our giant artillery beam is ready. Boom! Take that, you bastards. Alright, one fuel, two missiles, and 15 scrap. We took a lot of damage, though. Um, we have to repair the oxygen. Get in there and repair that right away. So there's a hole breach in here. And once your oxygen levels go down below 35%, I think, you, your men start losing health. So I'm going to get their health all the way back up. So yeah, exploring that nebula actually kind of sucked a lot. There was a bunch of nothing and then getting our ass kicked by that last enemy rebel scout. But let's go to this distress beacon and see what's happening over here. See if we can help these people out. Hmm, can we spare them some fuel? Alright, let's give them some fuel. Let's be some nice guy. We are the Federation after all. Ah, we get 26 scrap back. That's a pretty good deal. Let's see what we can upgrade now. I want to upgrade our weapon system so that we can use our second weapon. So 25, and let's get some... Well, we don't really need more power yet. Let's actually upgrade our artillery beam. So what I can do is actually take energy away from our med bay, since we don't have anyone to heal. Upgrade our artillery beam so that'll charge faster. And then if necessary, I can always charge up our heavy laser. And let's see... Let's explore some of these areas before heading towards the exit.
Alright, emergency, all ships in range are under attack. The frequency matches the nearby Sultan ship. Moving on their pursuer. They take your intervention as a cue to jump away. Cowards. So it looks like they have decided to cut and run. Leaving us to deal with the enemies. So they have a heavy laser and a bomb teleporter. So they can teleport bombs into our ship and destroy our systems that way. But now we've taken their weapons offline. We're gonna go after their shields. And then after shields for their piloting systems. So they cannot avoid our attacks. Alright, shields are down. And our artillery cannon is going to charge much faster right now, so we'll be able to get a nice swath of destruction across them. Hmm, four fuel, seven missiles, and twelve scrap. Mm, no. I demand more. You shall give me more scrap in your death than you do in life. Hopefully. Yes, twenty-one scrap, one fuel, and two missiles. Alright. Pretty fair trade, pretty fair trade. Let's get some more power so we can power up our heavy laser. Continue exploring. And since the sectors get harder as you go, you definitely want to invest a lot of time going to as many places, as many stars as you can in the early sectors. So some early mineral rich, but you'd have no equipment to mine the asteroids, so that kind of sucks. Uh, let's go to the exit. Maybe we can have time to go some of those systems towards the bottom. Let's see if there's anything here. Ah, so some pirates are now offering a bounty if we don't attack them. No, we are the heroes. We shall destroy these pirates. You pirates shall pay. So let's fire our burst laser. Then we shall fire our heavy laser. There we go. Now both their systems are down. So I didn't want to fire my heavy laser first because I only get one shot. A more generous bribe of three fuel, eight missiles, and eleven scrap. Sorry. Sorry, pirates, but your days of terrorizing are over. So their ship is screwed. They have no systems functioning right now. The reason why I want to fire my burst laser first is that it can take down their shields, which will allow my heavy laser to go in and destroy the rest of their ship. Let's see, some scrap materials. Let's go see the ship that we saved. Oh, they all lost oxygen and died anyway. Well, we get 21 more scrap. Eh, I mean, an alright deal. Alright ending. Let's continue exploring the sector, see what we can find. Area off limits. Submit your ship to processing. Only one guard ship in a lonely beacon, you decide to fight your way out. Yeah, that's right. You don't submit to anything over here. So with the Zoltan ship, they have a little green bar next to their shields. This is some sort of extra shield that they have, so you can't actually even start doing damage to their ship until you've depleted it. Now that that is depleted, we can hold off that. Here we go. Let's attack their shields. Heavy phaser to the m oh, dodged, huh? Well, we'll attack them with our burst laser. Then. There you go. Now you got nothing. And our artillery beam is ready to completely destroy the enemy ship. Let's get some missiles, drone parts, and some scrap. All right. I think we have enough time to go check out this last little unvisited location. We're running low on fuel, but. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to get something here. Arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. Ask your crew has time to undergo a few scans. Sure, let's participate in the study. Anything for science, says Dr. Hafe. And let's see, they take readings, process is done. Thank you, here's some stiff cakes from stiff dough, as well as some small scrap. Well. I transposed words all over the place there. But anyway, we got 15 scrap. Let's continue back to the exit. We're just ahead of the rebel fleet. And getting there quickly. Hopefully there will be a store in the next area. Let's see, NG or rebel controlled? Let's go visit the NGs. Those guys are pretty chill. 